letting us replay almost their entire resume for a buck per game, and soon we'll get an artfully prepared package of the first Mega Man games. A great collection is not a remake or a reboot, but a golden opportunity to play games that would be otherwise inaccessible or too expensive. These recent releases have left us thinking what other franchises, companies, consoles, or creators deserve their own historical playlist. What are the next collections going to be? If we had our way, each of these series would get bundled. When Metal Gear Solid 5 releases in less than a month, it may be the final installment from Hideo Kojima. What better way to celebrate his legacy than by releasing a collection of his entire gamography, featuring a complete timeline of his career, in-depth details about his concepts and approach to each game, and a full-length documentary inside the mind of one of our most eccentric auteurs, which show the world and Konami the impact he has had on the industry. It would also give many gamers a chance to finally see where his career began, with the rare and often overlooked Police Knots and Snatcher. The Mega Man Legends collection does not require anything to be unpressed, widescreened, retextured, or tinkered with. We wouldn't say no to write analog stick functionality, but the point is that the series' distinct low-poly look is still uniquely striking by today's standards. Not only are these games still beautiful, not only are they still exceptional adventure RPGs, but they remain rare and expensive, with the exception of Misadventures of Tronbon. Also, if the unreleased 3DS demo for Mega Man Legends 3 were to somehow appear on the disc, we know that's crazy, but that would be amazing. Nowadays, Shin Megami Tensei is commonly associated with Persona, but the series has a deep and fascinating history that extends much further back. The core SMT games are bleak, obsessed with the occult, and typically much more demanding than anything found in Persona. We think these games deserve a lot more recognition than they get in the West, and we'd be thrilled to get Shin Megami Tensei, Shin Megami Tensei 2, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, and Shin Megami Tensei 4 bundled together in one compilation. Other bonuses, like a music player and compiled art from legend Kazuma Kaneko, would only sweeten the deal. Maybe this compilation would help demonstrate why SMT has such a feverishly devoted following. Although multiple Resident Evil games have been re-released, repackaged, and remade countless times, a complete collection of the core franchise would be a great way to follow the series' long history and lore. Interviews with key figures like Shinji Mikami, Hideki Kamiya, and Jun Takeuchi would be perfect reasons for fans and newcomers to get excited. The story spans decades, so something similar to the Metal Gear Solid database could go a long way in connecting all of the events. It also gives Capcom a chance for redemption. By potentially not including RE6 in the collection, it can be forever purged from the franchise, like the wicked stain it is. After the Dragon Quest XI announcement, our fever hit a peak. It's time for a full-fledged collection for a series that's been near and dear to our hearts for nearly three decades. True, a few chapters got remakes on DS and mobile devices over the years, but the entire saga deserves proper attention. We want every game in one collection on every platform. Want to play some Dragon Quest VIII on your PS4? No problem. Leaving the house? Continue your progress on your phone, Vita, or 3DS. The world deserves a celebration of 30 wonderful years of Dragon Questing. These games belong together. The Saturn was the wrong system at the wrong time. Overshadowed by the much more 3D-capable PlayStation and Nintendo 64, the Saturn simply couldn't keep up with games like Final Fantasy VII and Ocarina of Time. Even so, it was still a great system in its own right, producing some of the best games ever associated with the Sega name. 
Sadly, many of the classics are prohibitively expensive, which is exactly why there's a need for a compilation. Panzer Dragoon Saga, Shining Force 3, Burning Rangers, and so many others on one disc would finally make these games easily accessible. Demo discs used to be one of the only ways to play games ahead of launch, and the PS1 had dozens of them. Imagine them all together at last. The menus precisely preserved, in chronological order, game after game, encased in beautiful neon greens and oranges, with sick guitar wailing non-stop in the background. Enjoy a playlist feature where you play random demos and swipe on the PS4 touchpad to move to the next game. Imagine a party where everyone gathers around to play random PS1 demos. Will you get Jet Moto or Star Wars Masters of Terrace Kasi? You don't know, and you don't care. Because either way, it's going to be totally radical. From Software has become quite the name recently thanks to the brutal and beloved Soul series. Yet the developer has always marched to the beat of their own drum, producing hardcore titles that deserve another day in the sun. A compilation including Otogi, Tenshu, Kingsfield, and others would show the studio's roots to a much bigger audience. From Software has earned a reputation as the gamer's game maker, and the compilation could cement that status. Sure, there's Virtual Console, and classic tracks have become expected in new releases, but putting the entire series together on one disc is simply a no-brainer. Nearly every Mario Kart has fans claiming it's better than the rest, and when middle-aged adults feel the itch to get back into gaming, a Mario Kart from their youth is often the first thing they seek out. Plus, a collection with reworked network code may be the only practical way to play LAN in Double Dash or get back online with the DS and Wii games. Bundle it all together, add some cool extras, and watch fans of all ages line up in droves. This is a saga we thought would never die, but shortly after the Lords of Shadow series, Castlevania practically vanished. We would love to celebrate the original games, from the first NES Castlevania to Order of Ecclesia. Now that the events have been reset, you can lay out the timeline and play each chapter in chronological order. You could have boss fight playlists, where you fight multiple versions of Frankenstein, or Death, or Dracula. Let's make it so these specimens are preserved, so multiple generations of action fans can take a crack at this cursed series. We scored a bunch of trailers from Gamescom, starting with the Fighter Squadron reveal for Star Wars Battlefront. On our second channel, GT Reviews, don't miss our review of the stellar space adventure Galaxy. We'll see you next Sunday for another GT Countdown.